So Pisces, um, you know, th there's a side to this person that you've not witnessed or that you've not experienced before. And, you know, as much as they try to, you know, contain that, stabilize those emotions, they have a tendency to be slightly toxic when it comes to just being obsessive, even possessive. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly uh, what's going on here. Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, October, <laughs> time is flown. Uh, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and uh, feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. Okay, so if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the, the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So we're just going to take these in. There we go. And I'll be back. So, uh, Spices, Pisces, let's start your reading. All right. So I'm not sure. this You're, you're processing. You've got the four. I'm going to start with you. Um, you've got the four of, of uh, swords, which talks about processing, thinking. As much as this person, there is acknowledgement for you with the uh, sun card there, Pisces, that... This person does bring some form of, uh, or have a positive impact on you or uh, your life in some way. That could be emotionally, that could be in, you know, something tangible, but there's something that, I'm gonna pull on that just to kind of see if, if, if let me just give me a second. One second, I'm just gonna pull on that just to Yeah, so there's definitely something that they add to your world. Um, although there is a bit of confusion and that's only coming from that four there um, and that wheel of fortune. So something's come in. They do definitely add something to your world. But there is this you this, there is this you thinking um, about this. There's something that you're kind of wanting to process in relation to this relationship here. Uh, you do want to take, mm -hmm, it's like, should I take a risk on it? Should I take a risk on it? I feel like you maybe have taken a risk at one point. You chose to take a risk on this. Uh, maybe I feel like for some of you that's coming from a space of the peanut gallery. So when I say the peanut gallery, I mean outsiders, uh, well meaningful friends and family maybe had uh, maybe their input when it comes to what they feel about this relationship. But you was kind of adamant. We've got the Emperor card there and we've got the King of Swords. And two very strong uh, energies here. When we're talking about the Emperor card, we're talking about, you know, someone who's very dominant, um, you know, authority, adamant. Uh, King of Swords is high level thinking, very strategic. So I feel like you took a risk on this relationship. There's something around a risk being taken. So right now you're showing up as the Three of Coins. Which talks about you being in a relationship, collaborating. So there's definitely an established relationship here. I'm not sure what's going on there. Definitely an established relationship here, represented by the three of coins, how you're showing up, and of course, what's going on in terms of your thinking. We've got that queen of pentacles. But there is this indecisiveness that's going on here. We're going back to that four, the need to process something. So something's not fitting for you. Something's not sitting right. Something's bothering you. Something's been nagging at you, um, which is causing you to process this relationship. Your person has, you know, they, they're they kind of totally different. You know, they're seeing this as an opportunity or at one point, because this is kind of the past-ish 
um, see this as an opportunity to create something new. So they've already decided on you with that too as well. That talks about a decision that's already been made. So they're basking in what you guys have already established showing up as the king. Their focus is on putting on putting in work, um, maintaining, uh, growing, working at what they've established with you, which is that for um, that foundation that sort that you you guys have already built. They are trapped though. Um, I'm going to pull on that, and we do have that devil card there, so I will pull on that just to see what's going on there because it could be coming from a place of them picking up on what's going on for you because you are operating like you are mm, like no, 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 nothing's you're operating like like okay for instance they wouldn't know what's going on for you internally because on the surface it's like you're just doing exactly what you used to do not knowing that you're kind of really in this space where you're being you know one minute you feel one minute one way and next minute you feel another way you still want to continue to put work into this or take action or do what's enough to maintain what you've already established or built here with this person but with that comes a burden it's like it's heavy something is causing you to question this relationship that you have with this person that you've already established with this person not sure what that question is about. One second, because you know I like my fireplaces. Um, one second. I'm not sure what that um, questioning is about. Let's see if we can pick up on something. Whether you want to progress to the next stage, we've got the ace of wands, yeah, we've got the chariot again, it's like, I'm just not sure, just like the ace, just not, just not sure, but you, you're sure, you're sure you want to walk away or move away from where you're at at the moment, whether it's with this person or not, there is this need to move away, they don't know what's going on for you internally, you've not shared that, they don't pick up on it, their focus is very much on maintaining or working at this, um, but we've got the High Priestess card there, I don't mean to kind of, you know, give off like I'm finding this amusing or anything, because I'm not, it's just that this person isn't, it's just, they're just not, they're oblivious to what you're actually thinking and feeling, and that might be due to just how good you're keeping it maintained, or con contained, <laughs> there we go, but we do have that, um, Eight of Swords, so there is this, why are they, they want to come out of this. There is this element of them being thinking, there is this thinking. What is that? What is going on here? Epiphany, realization, starting to feel different or see different, protected. Let's see what that devil card is saying. They want to get a handle and be more stable when it comes to, to their emotions. Um, hmm, okay, all right. So I'll tell you something. There's a side of this person that you've not yet been privy to. Um, I feel like things are well, or when things are going well, and things have been going well, which is why, you know, you've not been able to see certain sides to, you know, when you, I mean, when you kind of, you, you know people by the various reactions they have in various different situations. So if you've not experienced or encountered certain experiences or situations or circumstances with someone, then you won't be privy to how, um, or uh, you won't be privy to certain side to them. I feel like you've not been privy to a certain side to this person because you've not encountered a situation or a circumstances that will bring that out of them. I feel like this person has a need or there's a tendency to be uh, slightly toxic. And when I say toxic, in a sense of maybe needy, attaching themselves to you, um, uh, obsessiveness, uh, possessiveness there, but they're trying to or they're wanting to. I feel like it's not bubbled up as yet, but there's definitely acknowledgement of the potential of that for them. They're trying to contain that, uh, uh, stabilise those emotions. 
um, because they want to remain, we've got that high priestess card there. Sometimes that means commitment, high commitment, but also that sometimes that means uh, higher knowledge, wisdom uh, through experience. So they do know they have that tendency. You just haven't witnessed it. Um, yeah. Decisions, 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 decisions. Mm, for you, going back to you though, Pisces. so much coming through at the moment I'm not sure whether you huh. I'm not sure whether it's something that you want to end I don't feel like it is I just feel like there's something that needs to be spoken about with this person about what's going on for you I'm not sure whether it's coming from this person or they're not giving you something that you need to deal with something else if that makes sense I'm not sure whether there's other areas of your life that you're going through stuff with and this person is not showing up the way you would like or the way you would you you would expect them to. Um, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, these are the types of spreads that I wish that I had the part twos already out um, because that way we could kind of dig more deeper into this, see what where this moves to next. Um, yeah. So that's all I can kind of really say uh, regarding this spread at the moment. Communication, uh, talk, express, but really figure out what it is that you want and where you want to go from here. You don't want to operate in a relationship that is not kind of doing it for you, it's run its course. But be careful if you decide to, to end it with this person because, again, we've got that devil card there. They have a tendency to be a bit possessive or obsessive, uh, a bit toxic trait there that they're fully aware of. So hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. Um, if that's something that you're interested in, they say like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week. Bye.